you mentioned the lights in the arena and it looks amazing. It's like all the stars come out across the top of the stadium. And then we see the stars on court. Novak Djokovic, the top seed, the world number one. It's gone into the body of Hercatch. She just hooks that backhand in. Off forehand from Dimitrov. Hercatch tracked it down. It's the low volley. He's made it. How has he made that? Dimitrov out of this world. She's a Roland Garros champion. She's a Wimbledon champion, but Ashley Barty wants to win at home and she's serving for a place in the final. It's chops back from Keyes. It's the off forehand winner from Ash Barty. She will be there on final Saturday, fighting for the trophy. 3-1, 40 love. Nadal serves into the backhand of Hashinov, takes the ball early, cross-court forehand from Nadal, backhand cross-court from Hashinov, he's staying low over the ball, Nadal with the forehand down the line, cross-court forehand from Hashinov, he's on top of the baseline, but Nadal is not giving way and he's pretty central on his side of the court, not having to do much running here, off backhand from Hashinov, slice backhand from Nadal up the line, Hashinov slices as well, Nadal's around it, inside in forehand, stretches Hashinov out, he's got an overhead and puts it away! is roaring back to life on Rod Laver Arena. I would not put it past Kyrgios and Kokonakis winning the whole tournament, you know. They've got the crowd, that's an added weapon on top of the big serve of Kyrgios, the four-court play of Kokonakis that they already have going for them, and two singles guys on a doubles court. Yep. When they're swinging from the baseline, that could be tough for the experienced doubles teams. Well. This is the tennis show on Love Sport Radio and we've been talking about the upcoming grass court season, a grass court season that's been delayed somewhat by water falling from the sky. Yes, it's been raining and no, we're not in Paris. If there was a time that I can really push him, it would be now. He didn't say if there's a time that I could beat him. He didn't go that far. And maybe I'm reading a little bit into this, but just ahead of this match, I know maybe he wants to keep it low key and not put pressure on himself. But I would like to see Fritz really believing that he could go out there and win this and not just keeping that internal, but showing everyone. She gave her honest response. Now, if you sat there as a journalist, even if you're not happy with the response she's given you, you take that and whatever piece or whatever it is that you're asking this question for, you then have the liberty and what you're writing to actually put your viewpoint into it and how you observe the match, because that's part of your job and Rebecca Johnson. She says that we're very engaging. Abigail, and enjoying the uh, commentary this morning. Oh, thank you so much. That's lovely to hear. Rebecca Johnson, how's her first name spelt? Oh, with a K. Hello, Mum. Nice to have oh, you tuning in. Is it really your mum? <laughs> it is my oh, mother. that's it's lovely. What she, time is it over in the UK? She should be in bed, but she's a bit of an insomniac, so... But we say fair income. What does it mean? It means, well, that's all right then. Well, that's all right. It's good. Is that correct? Did you put that into your computer? No, I didn't. It's off. If, if you want to check, I'm, I'm no, just no. showing him now. It's blank screen. There is an ice cream on this one. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Mark Lawati. And just remember, everyone, write in and ask Abigail, <laughs> what kind of ice cream did she get, Mark? Wow. He's, he's really <laughs> confident in Danielle <laughs> Collins right. here.